Well, good afternoon, Raider Nation. Good evening, I should say. Uh, Shane, the sun's is bright, and it's hot this afternoon on a Friday night. Uh, we're not quite under the lights yet, but this is the second game for the uh, Red Raiders. It's a scrimmage game as we host the Cairo Syrup Makers from southwest Georgia. My name is Brent Johnson. I'm here with Shane Bennett. We're broadcasting live on the NFHS Network, powered by Play on Sports, and most importantly, brought to you by BCTV Productions uh, from right here in Bacon County High School from the Engineering and Technology Department. Uh, alongside me uh, on, in, on the production process is Mr. Carter Griffin. He is a senior at Bacon County High School. i got Matthew Carter, senior, on be on camera. I've got uh, Caleb Stevens on camera and Jacob McIntyre on camera. And i got, we'll call him an intern here, Ethan Champion, get his name out there as well. Uh, Shane, I'm excited to be here uh, week two. What, what's your thoughts? Well, my thoughts are kind of blank right now. <laughs> I just uh, um, we've uh, gone to this two scrimmage uh, format instead of doing the one uh, or not doing uh, spring and doing two games. And last week, uh, for a young team, we looked um, really good on offense. Jacob looked good running, the, carrying the ball. Defense um, still got some uh, kinks to work out just because we're smaller, but we're faster. Um, talked to Coach Kofer after the game. He said that. Um, he wants to see them a little bit more inspired on the defensive side of the ball. But, like I say, we got a young group out there. Um, I was really impressed with the receiving core uh, last week um, and what they were able to do, some great catches. Uh, Aubrey Carter um, been working on the screen uh, since um, Coach Gopher has come in to this offensive system and did a great job last week. Actually had a about a – was a 80 um, – It was about a 65-yard 65 65 screen. Uh, screen for touchdown to call back for a um, – um, a legitimate back block, so. <laughs> legitimate clip there. So um, anyway, I, I think we've got a um, a lot to look forward to in this young group. Uh, this Cairo group is coming after being pretty well handled by Bainbridge last week. Uh, I think it was forty-four to six or somewhere in that vicinity. So uh, they're out to kind of prove that they're uh, a better team than they scored last week. Even though this is a scrimmage, it's still kind of prove your point. These next, these uh, first two weeks. Yeah, I don't think they want to struggle with a double A school uh, a week before the season starts. Uh, so they're gonna have a little motivation. We're about to get this thing kicked off, Shane. Um, as uh, the Red Raiders are going to receive, and folks, I'm going to go ahead and apologize. Uh, it's not because of our age; it's just because of our eyesight. Uh, we're going to struggle with some numbers um, uh, this evening. We're going to do our best to, to keep you up to date on the young men. Uh, obviously, thank goodness you can see. Uh, maybe you can see better than us with the camera angle you're going to have. Uh, so we just want to, uh, again, <laughs> up front apologize if we miss a miss a kid making a particular play because of just unable to grab his number. But And, too, you might want to mention, too, you, you got one camera format tonight. That's going to change. That's, that's correct. Uh, tonight, we're just keeping it simple uh, with uh, camera up. <clears throat> Looks like the Raiders are going to kick off unless we're just swapping ends of the field. Yep. Um, one camera tonight from the top, Bird's Nest. Uh, next week, my plan is to have uh, up to three cameras. We'll be switching back and two from a field level to a mid-range level and then the, then the, the Bird Nest uh, with a switch. And Carter's shooting himself here in the head. But uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be fun time. Uh, we're going to get you all the angles, get you shots of the crowd, the cheerleaders, um, and, the, you know, and, and that's, that's always pretty cool. We want to make this as a professional production as possible. Um, I want to uh, – Thank you at home that are tuning in and those that will tune in later uh, on demand. We're going to take a real quick break uh, before this thing is kicked off and get started. All right. Uh, getting set for the kickoff here. k has got some good-looking kids on the field. A bunch on the sideline, 115 strong. Here we go, Friday night football, game two, Bacon versus Bainbridge. Under, I mean, Bainbridge, uh, Cairo underway, and a good, good return there turn, by uh, Big Man, I, I believe, Nassio Washington. I'm gonna have to ask for some help here from. No, it wasn't a Nassio. No, that was a Snell. Snell on the carry. I tell you what, that young man was impressive last week. Just a freshman. Uh, made a tremendous catch on the other side of the field, and then they caught a touchdown pass, dragging his feet like a pro. Aubrey Carter uh, behind center here. Uh, Jacob Carver in the backfield with him tonight. Uh, you'll see a lot of that this year, that um, duo in the backfield. Um, 
Cairo lines up a Division I prospect on the defensive line side. Yeah, um, he's on the defensive tackle on the right side. We do not have a roster for them, so it's going to be even their numbers. Um, I think he's number 90 I heard earlier. I don't know if that's right or not. Oh, he takes the snap. That ball. Throws out. Nearly picked oh, off. I oh think it. 14 should have made the catch. I think he was distracted by number seven who went for the yeah, ball. Yeah, Snell holds on that one. He's got a little green in front of him. Um, shout out to our band here tonight for the first time uh, this year, the second scrimmage game. They'll be live the rest of the way through. Um, cheerleaders here strong tonight. Roll out by Carter. He's going to make a – To uh, in and out of the hands. I believe Again, Brody uh, Fitchett there. So Raiders failed to pick up anything on the first two downs here. And again, just had an opportunity on both of those plays to make a play. And uh, we're unsuccessful. Third down and 10 now. Rolls out again. The man's wide open here. We're going to make the play. And it's going to be close to a Red Raider first down. Depends on where he marks it. Looked like he got past the line of scrimmage, but I got a feeling the horseman package may come in. I think we're just shy. Just shy of the spot there. And we are lining up. Got a timeout on Cairo's side as the Red Raiders quickly line up to the line of scrimmage, getting ready to to take the snap for a fourth in inches. And we're going to take a break with them, and we'll be right back here on the NFHS Network, powered by Play on Sports. All right, the Red Raiders are still uh, offensive-minded here. Fourth and short. And it's handed to Carver, and he's got the first down and more. As he races out to the outside wide, to the 40, to the 30, to the 20, man's got an angle. He cuts back for a 40-yard gain on fourth and inches. What a play by Carver, and we haven't even yet to begin to talk about this young man and his abilities and possibilities. Yeah, that was uh, and that was one thing Kofer talked about today when I talked to him that they thought they could exploit was that weak side of that defensive line and uh, pick up some yardage there, and they definitely did that. Well, you know, we wasn't sure, and it, the kids watched the film all week, and all, also the coaches, obviously, but they got hammered last week by Bainbridge for a reason, and we we wasn't sure if Bainbridge was that good or K was going to struggle. That gives Carver right in the middle again for a gain of about one and a half, maybe. Well, it looks like about uh, nearly a four-yard game. Yeah, there, Shane. A lot. Um, but two, it's it's hard to tell on anything like that when you've got a Bainbridge coming in as a five-A school versus a four-A school, and they might be on the higher end there, and Cairo on the lower end as far as talent this year. So it's it's hard to well, you got take new, anything from that. You got a new coach here at Cairo from last year, former head coach at Griffin, won a state championship there about four or five years ago. And one thing on our side, they that uh. That uh, kicker they had last year that scored all nine of their points down in Cairo uh, is moved up north and is not with the team anymore. Yeah, Aubrey's so. going to have to tuck that one away. Yeah, we need him all year. Throw it out the back of the end zone there. Yeah. So it's going to be third down and about seven, maybe seven and a half for a first. And, again, the Raiders going with that hurry-up offense. Quick and shot out here to the right. And, and there, Aubrey's going to show some wheels here as he may get it in the end zone, and he, he does, does for a touchdown. So on wow. third and seven and a half, Aubrey tucks it in and runs in with nobody open. He takes it on himself and runs in for the first six points of uh, this ball game. Red Raiders take a 6 nothing lead. 
early in the first quarter. Wow, that was <laughs> one unexpected there. I didn't well, well, you know, tuck I, it under there. It wasn't this, yeah, I mean, Aubrey, it, 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 coach told us, you know, Aubrey, once he once he gets it going, he can move. Um, he's not super quick, um, but he's he's fast enough to get the job. And let's see if we can, he can get the extra point here, which we had trouble with last week. And it looks good, Jay. Yeah, that's seven points there. We'll seven take that all day long. lead for the Red Raiders here early. Less than two minutes into the, the ball game, it's Shane, similar to what we did last week. We, we went 97 yards in less than two minutes against Atco. Uh, I'm a little – I mean, I'm not shocked because we talked all week about how we felt like our offense was in good shape. Offensively, you're right. Um, we just needed to make sure – you know, we're going to have to continue to develop on defense because we lost some key kids that played both ways last year, offense and defense, and we'll talk about those young men a little later and their success right now, um, even at the next level. But – um, you know, we just knew that we was going to have to share a few things and just mature on defense. And we're, we're about to see what we're going to do this week uh, with Cairo. Yeah, and uh, a lot of these guys, Aubrey, I mean, double duty there, kicking in. Uh, I mean, he, he just made that run, has to jump up and get back in uh, for the um, point after attempt. And you got uh, Jacob, which last week he only got in on a few defensive plays. so And he was not um, 100% last week either. And he was uh, he was our offensive mainstay. He had over 70 yards rushing. Um and about that many receiving from the screen. But talk about Aubrey just a minute. <clears throat> um, we know that last year was Aubrey's first year being a starting quarterback uh, since middle school. And, you know, the young man was, you know, placed in a position where, you know, new coaching staff, new offense. Um, and, and this year I can I can see a a different – he's in my, he's in my uh, third uh, – excuse me, second block class and – just by chatting with him a little bit, I can see a, an, an aura of confidence in this young man this year, Shane. Yeah, it, it, he had he came in behind some seniors last year. It was kind of hard to come in behind with uh, Drill and uh, Tron and those guys. So he was a little intimidated, I think, as far as trying to come in and be the leader. But I I think he's stepping up this year, talking to the coach, and he's trying to be that that person on the field they need. Because you've got you, you you may know X's and O's as a quarterback, but you've got to be that leader on the field when. Times are tough, and uh, I hope Aubrey's going to be that person this year for us. Well, he's got all the tools, Shane. All right, Cairo first uh, line up for scrimmage here now, and they're taking the ball. Yep, we got, got a little. got a block here in the back, I believe. We picked up on, or a hold. One of the two. This ball's coming back, and I would say from the, his expression, number fifty is not happy with it. It must have been him. A little scat back, I'm, and again, we're looking for some numbers. Maybe these young bucks up here can help us for the tailback. Look like number 20. We're going to try to put our hands. I know that doesn't sound very professional. No, I think he's yes, hands on him a, on in the a, backfield now. 21, I think it was. Yeah, it was. on a roster uh, before this game gets much more underway. 21. They were limited on the copies they sent to the booth. They call holding now on K Road. That's uh, 10 yards. Um, well, so if nothing else, that'll get some butterflies out of the, our defensive guys. Yeah. Uh, and Coach Langford's done a good job with what he, he is a uh, pretty much a new squad this year on defense and has uh, worked a lot last week against Adco. He ran in about 20 players on defense he there did. trying to get folks in the game and get some positions um, settled down and where he was going to put folks. And uh, Well, a game like this, you want to be competitive um, naturally. You don't, you don't want to lose a game, uh, and, but you don't want to lose players. Uh, and, and that's one of the reasons that you limit – uh, some of your offensive stars like uh, like Carver can and, and I think will be uh, limit his, time, his snaps on defense as well as a couple other players. That pump fake. Okay, Eric, the, oh, he had him right there. If he if he'd have made the tackle, that was still a great play. Uh, excuse me, play by the Raiders, but it could have had him five yards less. Um, and again, that was a confidence thing, right? He takes confidence to go ahead and step to the ball. He even may have a chance at an interception there. This defense is going to be anchored. Uh, It's going to be anchored by Cawthorn at linebacker. He's playing that outside, right outside spot. A little cross up here. And there's an interception. Oh, oh, did he, made, did he, he dropped the, the ball. He dropped he the ball. Well, it's either, an inter it's either a fumble or a – He's potting the ball there. I don't think he had not any possession of the ball. Wow. But we're getting a little discussion by the – I don't – I'm like you. Again, my the officials got determined. I don't think he had it. We had the, we picked up the ball regardless. Um, I like the way these, these 
these umpires are coming. Yeah, they're together. calling. They're calling our possession. All right. Well, they called it a catch and a fumble. Yeah, that's what they're saying because we well, picked I don't up the think, ball. Well, I don't think that's right either. I think that was probably a a. Uh, and I, they they looking just as confused. You know, if you remember, well. Uh, Bag was thrown. Yeah, well, but they're, now they're changing and saying it was a first down for Cairo. Wow. I don't understand that either. I'd have been happy with an incompletion. <laughs> okay. Uh, this could be a uh, confusing yeah. night for mm. officials if well, we have this. First first down for the Cairo cert makers either way. A strange play there. Ball was yeah, that handed inside. 21 is their backbone, it seems to be there. Um He's not a big guy, but he seems to be pretty quick. I'm not sure what happened to the quarterback there. He kind of fell on, tripped on maybe his he own. Lost right. shoe there, I think. Oh, maybe that's it. He kind of fell down there. I wasn't sure what happened. Maybe his cleat got caught. Yeah, and um, if you can see this, the turf on this field, we're still um, working out the bugs. The new sod, it's been a challenge. Um, Mr. Jimmy Scott, Scott Taylor, Another have good worked hard on getting this sod correct. Good defensive play there by the linebackers. And now Cairo running the hurry-up offense. That's, that's K.J. Brown there, uh, middle playing little middle linebacker, just a sophomore. Matter of fact, uh, Cawthorn I was mentioning earlier, just a sophomore as well. So we are young, which is a good problem for Bacon County football. Now the pitch outside wide. Got him hemmed up if they can bring him down, but I think he's going to be just enough for a first down for Cairo. Yes. A little pitch outside. That was a third and seven, and they pick it up. So two long third down conversions here on Cairo's first drive. Again, Cairo is a back in the nineties and early two thousand a perennial power in Southwest Georgia, a state power. Oh, well, the top ten last year um, when we um, went over to Cairo and played them. Cairo. Uh, a little delay. Great tackle there. Good form tackle. Got a, Got a flag. flag. Don't move. Holding again on number 57, I believe. Again, a lot of guys coming in and out for the Red Raiders. We like to see that. As Shane mentioned earlier, uh, got, a, got a player down here. Oh, I didn't even see that. Who is that a Cairo? That's a Cairo. Yeah, that's a Cairo guy player. that's coming over. Um, we ushered in uh, nearly 20 players on defense last week against ATCO, an improved ATCO team. We're going to take a short break with them. Uh, we'll be right back in just a moment. Red Raider football. Raiders lead 7 to nothing early in the first period of this scrimmage game versus the Cairo Syrup Makers. All right, we're back. Uh, and 21 was the one that was shook up a little bit. He walked off on his own power, which yeah. is the running back. The result Cairo. of the penalty is a first and 23 now for a 22 for Cairo, um, holding on number 57, right side guard. For Cairo, Cairo, Cairo syrup makers. That's a mouthful. <laughs> so 
I see it maybe a pass play here with their 21 out. Yep, he's going for the right pass. Right over the middle, wide open. Good, good, good tackle good there. Tackle, but they quickly pick up all they lost on that. Picked up about 18 yards. It's going to be second about three or four now. I tell you what, that's one of the most vulnerable places on the football field in any classification, whether it's uh, high school, college, and NFL, is across the middle. If, if you got a receiver with the guts to go across, uh, chances are you're going to make a completion. All right, here we go, second and about five. I mean, yeah, Here they come. Five. Another little scat back in the backfield. It's like number 24. He's going to achieve the first down with the syrup makers. I got another flag on the field. It's going to be a lot of laundry tonight already. <laughs> and most of the time, if it's if it's called after the snap, it is on the offense. I was a little worried they were going to call him on the uh, out of bounds. They're slamming him back, but um, some officials are real peculiar or sensitive about that, and some aren't. Gonna be second and fifteen from the thirty yard line. Another and quick right over. Another right top. over the middle. Nobody's covering that play. Nobody there. The, the safeties are playing back. The corners are following their receiver man to man, and that's just. I mean, that's just good coaching. These guys up here or next picking door picking out what we're not getting. Yeah, they just. I mean, that's an easy catch and throw or throw a catch. Got to make an adjustment here. And then nobody's covering that slot. There's the run. Another, a little quick back there. I'm assuming that's. Number four this time. Enough for another first down for Cairo. They've made this first down three times now. He's just a little guy compared to the other players. you got to really watch to keep up with him. Five minutes, nine seconds remaining in the first period. Another over the middle. Ooh, Ooh, Jacob just about had one. This and is a – Carver did enter the game here in this short field here. Our right side uh, defensive backs on this time of this time of the night uh, is going to have a hard time seeing a ball thrown back at them. The sun's right in their eyes, so this is uh, that's correct. Just um, a nature of this new field. We got about another hour before that sun disappears, <coughs> especially in the uh, the goal inside the twenties. You can see the shadows there. The red monster here is covering up most of the field in the center portion. You can go for a quick outside pass. and, and uh, he, He's he, open, but he dropped it. Poor pass. Like he uh, actually caught it, but he didn't know argument there. But it was, a, as uh, you said, Brent, a poor pass. <laughs> a lot of green in front of me, only one defensive back out there. Well, those are the little things that will drive a coach crazy. You know, uh, Aubrey had just had a couple of those, a uh, little miscues last week. Um here we go as he rolls out rolls to his out. left. He's got, he's got a man open and oh, a missed tackle, and he's going to yeah, score. I mean, that's just that's what it a, was, mm. a missed tackle. And certain makers are going to put it in the end zone. No flags this time. Seven to six is the score. And this is a little bit about what um, Kofer and I talked about as far as the aggressiveness on defense, making those tackles, um, flying to the ball as a team, and uh, doing what they can – to make the stop before it turns into a first down, a touchdown, or a big uh, or a long game. Um, just some of those things, and that's why we play these scrimmage games, and that's why oh, I'm yeah. excited about that other than spring. Got a southpaw. Kid's got a good-looking leg still. Yeah. yeah nice. K-Roof <laughs> spring a kicker in a <laughs> Nice, strong extra point there. Score 7-7 seven to seven with 4 minutes and 44, 49 seconds remaining on the clock. Uh, Red Raiders are going to receive the ball. And let's see what we can do on offense again. We're all going to take a short break here on the NFHS Network, powered by Play on Sports, brought to you by BCTV Production.
All right, Raider Nation, we're back. Syrup makers are going to kick off here. 4.49 left in the uh, first quarter, and it is all tied up. It's like Snell's going to take back in the end zone. Yeah, they're not allowed to bring it out in high school ball. Sort of a safety issue there. But nonetheless, the Raiders are going to take over on the 20-yard 20 20 line. First and 10. I thought they changed the rule to 25. Oh, well. Raiders going right to left as you look at your screen. It's 446 left in the first quarter. 7-7. Seven, seven. The Carter and Cawthon in the backfield. Brody Fitch it in motion. He hands it off. Brody's not the biggest, but he is quick. quick. If, if he can catch a seam, uh, he'll be hard to run down from behind. Glad to see Brody. Uh, had Struggled a little early in the uh, middle of the season with some injuries last year. What didn't wasn't able to contribute a whole bunch. He pit, uh, pull and pitch, and he's got to get on the ball, and he scoops it up. They blew the whistle, and I'm wondering why. He blew the ball dead, and it was still ball still in live play. He thought it was a pass, I guess. <laughs> they they can't give it to Cairo. No, they can't. It has to remain. It has to, it it has to it remain. It our, remains. You remember last year was wow. it? Um, uh, where were we at? Um, they did the same thing. They blew the ball dead. And I tell you what, Shane, it, is, it very likely was because of that sun back in his eyes. Um, well, it was the official on the side that blew the whistle. On this side? Or yeah. the, I thought the, the other man came no, in. He, he blew okay. the whistle because the, the, the white hat ran to him immediately and said uh, that was a quick whistle. He evidently, he thought it was a forward pass. Well, we'll take it. Nonetheless, second and about um, 18. Cairo's coach is uh, sending all, eight, his, all his blessings to. Uh, Wide open here as he cuts back. Oh. First 10. First and Red 10. Red Raiders, and we get a huge break on that play before where the officials uh, inadvertent whistle there saves us. A, um, well, I'm going to tell you. Change like possession a, deep in our territory. I'm going to tell you something that I don't like to hear because it usually goes against us. It's part of the game, Shane. <laughs> it's part of the game. Sometimes we make mistakes. Yeah, we we can say that now <laughs> you know, because, because we don't like that. <laughs> exactly because it went in our favor. Because right. usually when it said to us, it didn't go in our favor. Again, that Another. was actually a flag. On, oh my! We got to make that. Got to make that catch. You just um, have to make that catch. Great throw actually, by Carter. We actually had a. Uh, it's called a uh, delay penalty there because we snapped the ball before the official called the ball in play there, and we got caught on that a few times trying to speed the game up, and uh, we got to. We got to watch that. He didn't call us on that one, but we do have to watch that. And I tell you, uh, Brent, for a Friday scrimmage game, as hot as it is, we got a pretty good crowd, sh and they're still coming in. They're still coming in. Uh, this is as good, or maybe even better, than last week with Atco. Carter rolls out to the we right. We got him wide open. He's got to get the ball over a little quicker. Yeah, I think Aubrey. you're exactly um, right he, there. He, a little error under it, but if he gets a. A dart over there too. That's a uh, easy completion for he him. Hesitated probably one second too long, but a, a great throw. I'm, I'm liking the way he's throwing the ball, irregardless. You got to think uh, they're setting up a little little screen here, uh, gonna, or, or probably a snap here. It looks like it's probably going to be a direct snap to Carver um, because they probably won't show it tonight. Maybe I shouldn't talk about it. I'm not. I won't even bring it up. <laughs> a few special plays. Yeah, it's one thing about uh, scrimmage. It's hard not to show your hand. Oh, big hit! And that that's a now they get the ball back. Yeah, he was blindsided. Aubrey just didn't feel that uh, pressure coming in on him. Good to see though he's getting up, not hurting anyway. Yeah, you know? he you could tell why he got it, and you could see it on film that uh, he took a big hit there. Yeah, and again he he just didn't feel that he he stayed in the pocket. He did what he should have done, but he just didn't feel it coming to break out and uh, either throw the ball away or uh, take the uh, loss instead of a turnover ball yeah well Cairo gets it back about where they would have gotten it before maybe 10 yards shy and they're going to start over we're back on defense three minutes 44 seconds remaining first and 10 on the 30 still here early Cairo's going straight for the juggler here oh what a big hit by our defensive back like to see that you got a corner going for the interception and then you had a then you had your safety head hunting 
That was a syrup sandwich right there. <laughs> and I believe that was uh, Demetrius, that Demetrius, was Demetrius Williams. Williams. Yeah, he um, he introduced himself. Yeah, that was a pretty good tag team there. Again, one seeking the interception, the other. Going to give a little. How you do. Time to regroup here. They're going to run a little 21 scat back around the side here. Mm -hmm. There, and he's just poking pick, and picking, yeah. looking. If they hit him a couple times, he, he won't be doing that very no, much. It, that was a, a great play there uh, by the linebackers. Again, K.J. Brown making an impact early in this game. Again, just a sophomore. This young man has a motor on him. Again, just a reminder, this is a scrimmage. We play three 10-minute quarters with our uh, varsity and then the last quarter, fourth quarter, being uh, six minutes with our JV. I'd like to see our defense step up and make a stop here. We're going to make the quarterback scramble, and he makes a he throw as he, he draws in the corner. Yeah, he brings the corner in. That, the corner, is that's just a discipline thing. He's got to stay got with, to his, stay man with his man, especially in this zone. You can't do what he just did. Um, I didn't get a number there, but that's exactly – that played into Cairo's hand perfectly there. Great open field tackle by the young man that run him down. First and ten on the about the 12-yard line. Again, just a quick pitch out here to the right. Perfect and play there play. by Cawthorn. Making, to the ball there. Mm -hmm, forcing him back, back inside. It's going to be a loss of about three. Back to about the 15 there. I think. Yep. Yeah, right on the 15. 2.36 left in the first quarter, 7-7, seven, seven, all knotted up. Um, uh, Cairo, again, a 4A school, Bacon County a 2A school. Um, we went over there last year. Good little ride to Cairo. <coughs> Got a holding call. This is about the fourth penalty on Cairo, um, and it's adding up for over 50 yards. Again, this is where you get some kinks worked out. You know, as you see now on the camera, you know, Bacon County shuffling one, maybe two players off a of play. They're shuffling three to four, maybe five at a time. And that's just the difference, folks, in between a double A and a, a really where we're a small double A school versus a, a solid four A. Um, again, you might think, why well, we're playing a four A, but you can't get better if you don't play better competition. That was Coach Kofer's. Uh, that's, that's right. His, um, had him there. Um, little, little pass overthrown, thank goodness. Uh, had just a, had a step on our uh, corner there. Yeah, just a little bit behind him and too high. Or he would have been. And they do have some size, six. if you haven't noticed as well. They're um, not as big as they were last year. I, last year they just seemed, and of course we're up here in the press box. We were yeah. down there a little closer last year, but just don't seem they're as big as they were last year. That's right. We'll give a shout out to the cheerleaders. Uh, maybe we'll get a camera shot of them down there doing a few cheers. Uh, before it's all said and done, um, thankful for these young ladies. There's a crowd down there. They they may thin out a little bit uh, as the season progresses. So got some competition cheerleaders down there uh, that'll that'll probably be resting on Friday nights. Um, got a few new things that's going to be incorporated this season um, uh, to help uh, cheer on our Red Raiders that these young ladies will be getting involved with, as, again, as the season progresses. Talk a little bit about our um, the high school. Again, a new facility this year. we got a brand-new principal, uh, Mr. Ross New, and he's come in and done a great job of uh, uniting the kids and getting uh, one common um, purpose Facu here. Yeah, faculty and staff, too. I think yeah, he's done a good job uniting all that in. I've been uh, really pleased with what he's been able to do, and uh, the kids seem to uh, – uh, Respond. Like what he's doing, mm -hmm. respond. That's what I'm looking yeah. for in the in the teachers and faculty, especially the same thing. All right, here we go. Second and twenty three after the penalty. Little Quarterback putting again. some pressure, and I think we might. Nope, he's going to get away and throw it up deep out of the yeah, end zone. We've got to make that tackle on the quarterback there, not give him the opportunity to throw the ball. And again, that again, that's that thing where we've got to be a little bit more aggressive there. It's going to be third down and 23 here. The Raiders, uh, they better watch the little draw play here uh, because they do. Look, it appears they got a field goal kicker that can probably make one from this distance, so they may not be trying to go for the glory here, get all the 23 back. And I tell you, um, 
we got to think back where this drive started and what it started from. Well, that's this would exactly be a great right. hold for the Raider defense if we can hold here and, if we can and hold if nothing, them, just the three yeah, points. Yeah, that's correct. We need to watch that middle for the for a slant here. Yeah, he does keep him back there either for a screen. Um, they got to be very aware of that because that looks exactly like what he's trying to do right here. Great tackle there. No, he dropped the ball. Dropped the ball, yep. yep. So it's going to be fourth and 23, and we'll see if they're going to bring out. Um, a lot of, a lot yep, of different kids coming in. they're bringing out the golden two. Yeah, we're going to see if we can pound one in. We lost nine to nothing last year. Nine to nothing, and we had one touchdown called back, so it was a lot closer. I mean, it, it was, nine to nothing yeah. was a close score, but we had a touchdown called back early from Tron, about a 65-yard uh, call. And their kid kicked a 52, a 45, and a 43-yard field goal, this if I remember correctly. This is a south ball out there. I mm -hmm. think you may have mentioned that earlier, but we'll see what. Nope, he's that gonna ball is going to be one. low and right. So, folks, we've held them here with two minutes left in the first quarter. We give them the ball, spot them 80 yards, and they uh, come up with a goose egg. So Yeah, I tell you what, that, that's, that's pretty awesome. That's something that these guys can feed off of. The offense can come back on the field. I'd like to hear our band play. Yep, here they, they come. Must have, must have heard <laughs> they must have heard me through the crack in the window. Because uh, we don't have the crack very big because it's hot out there, folks. We in the AC up here. That is a privilege, I guess. Um, but no wasting time here. No no, no, uh, no break for us. Here's the yeah, – Bacon just run back out there. Aubrey's ready to take snap. Uh, got an official timeout. Uh, coach is running out on the field, so I don't know if Cairo's calling time or what. He's wanting to find out. He's asking a question. Folks will be hosting uh, Lanier, Lanier County next, the uh, County Bulldogs next week. Um, th that will be the opening game of the regular season, a non-conference game. Uh, Lanier is a single-A school, uh, followed by game of the year. Uh, we make it that way. I'm not sure if it is uh, with a huge rival. Um that's a five-yard penalty there, Shane. Let's no, it was the, he's saying the, the, the ball was spotted ball incorrectly. Spotted incorrectly. Okay. I didn't That's know we were on the 20-yard line, though. For, yeah, first and 10 from the 20. They must have spotted it where the ball was. I have no idea. I'm not going to speculate. But nonetheless, here we go. We're going to run the ball right up the middle. Can't break away from that tackle. Is that that fine defensive? No. I, it w that was 57 there. I, I'm not sure if 90 is the correct number or not. Or 37. Um, but they do have a lineman. I see 90 there, and I believe it is. No, he's going back to that left side. He's I, moving all around, so that may be him. Again, folks, I do sound like, but we just don't have any information on them. They didn't, other than what we got on film from them. And that was a little bit late this week. Maybe Aubrey's going to keep it and take it up and tuck it for about a two-yard gain. Yeah, I'm not sure, again, uh, we've only seen Carver a couple times in that backfield. It's going to be third and five. Yeah, again, I um, yeah, I see Carver is he's not even on the field. No, right he's now. he's not on the field. Uh, we got I think KJ Brown in the backfield, and it's going to be a. A screen out, a uh, wide receiver and screen. Great tackle there by yeah. number nine for the Cairo Surah Makers. Only made it back just past the line of scrimmage. It's going to be fourth and one yard. Fourth and about four. Uh, see the punt team now for Bacon I County. I see Carver coming in, but oh, I, I think see, he's no, the we punter. Got 30, 30, <laughs> we got 30 seconds. So what his plan is, to, I guess, just to run this um, clock out as best we can. I would take the ball and just kind of – well, no, this is first quarter. First so we quarter. got to punt it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm thinking – Seven quarter. seven. Don't listen to me. Fourth and four. We we'll be babbling, talking over ourselves. This may be our one and only uh, time to shine on the air this year. Uh, next week we'll be incorporating. Just got that ball off and a great kick. Um, maybe uh, I'd sure hate to thirty two yard line. Tell so. you what, I'd sure hate to see Carver get injured on a punt in the ball. Um, but that was a great punt by him, nonetheless. So after one quarter of play, it is your Bacon County Red Raiders, seven. The Cairo Syrup Makers, seven. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back for quarter number two and ten, in, ten more minutes of uh, scrimmage football.
All right, quick little run out to the side for a pickup of about two yards, maybe three. Be second and eight for the syrup makers. I will say seven. I'm corrected by that. Again, they've got a quick little back right there. I tell you, he reminds me <laughs> reminds me of a back a few years ago uh, with Charles Charlton County. Yeah, I don't know. they've got a really good running back this year. I don't think he's <clears throat> excuse me quite as quick as backs they've had before, but he's Punisher. He's a he, he's fast. We'll have to face him in a couple weeks. And the first game we'll be traveling. It'll be the first third and short they've had tonight. Yeah, great and tackle in the backfield. Hold them uh, right there. It'll be fourth and about. Got to see who made that 14 tackle. 14 inches. Walking around the end right here with a, I think it's Keto Brown. We got KJ and now Tito there. I always recognize that kid, and you can make and see him from the camera. Well, he's got the dreads, but his calves are as big as my waist. Uh, Let me tell you, folks, that's he can, big. He can, <laughs> <laughs> All right. He can box jump just about over his head, and that's ridiculous. He can box jump um, up to his chin, and uh, that's, that's showing some athleticism. I <laughs> appreciate that, Shane. That's my lovable partner there. <laughs> Nothing a donut can't fix. That's what he thinks. <laughs> Shout out to a couple of people I know is going to be watching or are watching uh, this evening. Uh, Miss Lisa Hughes. Uh, appreciate she, what she does in the community. Um, give her a little free advertisement there. Her and her dance studio makes a huge impact on some young, win young oh, women. Oh, no, they did not call it on us. You got to be kidding me! Got a former graduate. Say, yeah. Got a former graduate. Uh, <laughs> Cody Matters is going to be is tuning in from Texas. He is in the military. Proud of that young man, uh, Air Force, and uh, he's tuning in to hopefully get a glimpse of his Who young, are, Cody? younger brother, uh, who's a freshman. He'll definitely get some playing time in the in the JB portion, but uh, this, that young man's got a lot of potential, just like his brother showed uh, when he played. Cody could have been uh, 60 pounds out there, but he played so much hard, it was hard to uh, keep him down. Tell you what. I'd take a whole team of him. Yeah, we, we haven't seen, and I'll just, I mean, not no, not no, knocking any of the young men we've had the last few years, but we haven't seen a, a leader on and off the field uh, physically and verbally like that young man since he graduated. Cairo uh, coach is not happy with the call. Um, I didn't see them move. We flinched, but we didn't break the um, – I think we crossed the line of scrimmage. Crossed the line. I don't know what his complaint is, and is it really worth it in a scrimmage game? Of course, I know he's playing first year. He's up here playing at a 2A school probably. Yeah. Well, he got whipped last week, and now he's got a 2A school he's struggling with, uh, you, know, ha you know, early in the second quarter. Uh, and, and these guys, the umpire crew has struggled a bit this game, Shane. Uh, and, again, this is this, their, this is their scrimmage as well, you know, as they're trying to work together and, and get some things right as well. Coach Cooper getting the uh, – and I guess they're going to line up and let them do it right there again. Not sure what's going on, Dot, with the uh, – I formation. And we oh, stuffed wow. him right there. Look at the hats on the ball. Look there. at the red all over mm -hmm. that ball. Folks, I ain't seen <laughs> that many red jerseys in the backfield uh, in, in some time. That was a great play, anticipated. I don't know. I don't it, think it looked that, like we knew the offensive what they were line didn't, they didn't, Their offensive line didn't move. I think they missed the snap count, <laughs> and we just ran by them. Wow. So, uh, Bacon well, it, County take, maybe can it take advantage of uh, a miscue by the Cairo offensive line there. I'll tell you what, that looked great. Just absolutely no air moving. You see the um, flag down there on the north end. It's just, there's just no movement of air out here. It's just a hot. It's about still about 88 air. degrees out there. We got a new quarterback in. All right, looks like uh, 
Dawson Jewell is going to get an opportunity here in the varsity game. He didn't come in last week until the JV portion. This young man is, again, he's a sophomore. Uh, where Carter's a senior, uh, this kid's got a lot of potential. Again, uh, got a big arm. And a lot of young folks out there. We just have to keep reiterating that. That's we got a lot of young kids out there, and that's a, like I say, Brent was saying earlier. That's a positive thing for us to be doing well, like we're doing right now. Going from the horseman uh, formation, we moved all over the yeah. place. And they did call it that time. <laughs> they did. That horse he got it up and go too fast. Line up and do it again, five yards further back. Uh, here we go, second and about 13 for the Red Raiders. And he's going to throw the ball deep. He's got him if he catch the catch. And it's a touchdown, folks. Outstanding catch and throw by our young quarterback, Dawson Jewell. Are you kidding me? That was a perfectly placed ball. I mean, you couldn't put it any better than what he just did. <laughs> and, and what it was was a pylon route. He was throwing it to the pylon. Yep. He was depending on the young man to be there, and it was. And that's that's what they practice, and that's why they practice it time in and time out to get that ball right there. Folks, that's the potential that I just described from this young man. He has a great arm, a tight spiral, and, and that was proof in the pudding right there. Yes, sir. That was absolutely a great play. All right, folks, with uh, 8.06 left in the second quarter, your Red Raiders are 14. K. Ruth Hurtmaker, 7. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back here. Folks, it's 14, 14 to 7 early in the second quarter. Raiders just, uh, this young man, uh, Dawson Jewell, throws a touchdown pass from about 35 yards. I mean, he, I mean, it was a perfect pass. You couldn't have done any better. Take that, uh. Brady with the inflated balls. That was a, just a South Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, man. And I had I had to take a phone call. And uh, fair catch there. And I had to uh, miss out on the call. Shane's uh, decibel level didn't go quite as high as we did I've at learned, Pierce last learned year. to control it. <laughs> I was doing the moonwalk in the press box up there last year. <laughs> hey. Uh, me, yeah, uh, Brent and I made the top ten <laughs> that week. We did. I think we did. <laughs> top ten highlight. Yeah, with that in mind, I would say uh, um, uh, this broadcasting network, BCTV, Brent and his crew, um, best in the state of Georgia with subscriptions. And um, that's nothing but to say you guys out there listening and watching with uh, you paying for the subscription that we were the best in the state of Georgia. So Yeah, uh, we, we had the most broadcasts. We developed the most highlights, and that, that's that's from the boys on the field. How many top ten did we have last year? Um, that they Actually, they do a – we're doing the same thing. Wow, great defensive play there. You, Shane, I don't know for sure. Um, we had several top tens last week and had a uh, – Won an award uh, for that as well uh, by the, the GHSA uh, <coughs> Student Broadcasting Challenge. Um, won a, a – nice amount of amount of money that uh, we'll be able to put forth to this program I mean, that we were excited about and just unknowing up in, during the summertime we was going to receive it and uh, real proud of that proud of these guys uh, uh, that's on my crew I graduated one or two last year 
uh, Mr. Solomon Tillman. Shout out to him. Uh, of course, he's here at the ball game tonight, but uh, done a tremendous job for me the last four years. Uh, Solomon signing. Do what? Yes, and, and by the way, uh, Solomon uh, signed. He's in to play tennis for Bruton Parker. He's moved in, started school this past week. Yeah. All right, uh, back on the field. Seven minutes, 36 seconds as clock counts. Third and four for the Surt Makers. Another big possible stop here for the Red Raiders. A quick pass out here to the right. And we, oh, oh, and it's intercepted. We got, the, we got the Let's ball. get a block. We might have a we chance. We got a lot to, of green just get down there. Wow, right. so what Raiders a play. Just, I'll tell you what, it's lights just out right now. to the ball right now. The and, defense and, is playing a better – Second quarter than they played first. I mean, just playing other than that stop there towards the end of the second, or first quarter, they, they've they stepped it up and starting to do what we we're talking about, just playing with a little uh, just confidence. Confidence. Yeah. Um, and I, maybe yeah. that, that's what was lacking last week. Well, they're not playing with nerves. I I, I was coming around. I set, set some stuff up right after school. It was about 4.15. I called Coach K. Uh, Coach K is an offensive lineman and uh, co-offensive coordinator. And I said, I shook his hand and said, man, good luck if I don't see you and talk to you before the game. And uh, tell them boys to have some fun tonight. And he said, you know what, we will. We're going to have some fun. And maybe that's what they're doing. Defense jumps off there, number 19 on the uh, syrup makers. Went for that hard count. Aubrey was throwing out there. 14-7, to 7-19. Seven, seven, Raiders know, we, take over here. We talk about that a lot, you know, but there's a lot to that. Um, we forget this is a game. We're supposed to have fun, and that's the whole purpose in this. And uh, sometimes we get so wrapped up and well, everything goes on, they forget to have fun. And that's, I think, when everybody – has fun. It's a, it's a lot better played game. Aubrey, Aubrey takes taking a, snap. a little high snap there. Oh, here comes Jacob Carver. Just, he's just he's looking to punish some people. Rumbles for about 15 just yards. Tears and rips and down the, there. Yeah, the to kid. About he, the 22. The first tackle he broke. The kid he got up late, so he he I think he caught a thunder thigh right there. Um, but a game like this, Shane, where you know it, number one, it's a scrimmage. It's not even counting the books. You know, there's no, no going to be no record uh, at Bacon County High School of this game, no stats except what they keep, you know, for personal. There goes Carver the, again the right The record the here is where it will change our attitudes Absolutely. and gives confidence. Um, because you're playing a, a, a team like Cairo with a, with a big history, big school, irregardless win or lose tonight, um, th there shouldn't be any pressure on us. You know, no, it, we, it, the pressure's on Cairo right absolutely. now. Absolutely. They're going to call a timeout here and kind of regroup because they don't want to go down to us 21-7. 6.50 here in the second quarter, folks. Bacon County, your Red Raiders up 14-7 to on 4A Cairo Syrup Makers. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. Okay, Bacon County taking the ball right now. Second and about two and a half uh, for first. The uh, ball sitting right now. we got a little movement again. I don't know if it was uh, offense this time, so we're going to move the ball back five yards. Uh -huh. um, and both our uh, wide outs, I guess, were the ones moving. I see them jumping down doing the push-ups. And that's there. what I don't understand. I mean, the wide outs shouldn't be – should be la yeah, They should be the last ones to, to, get off, to be off size. You know, you should, number one, you shouldn't line up off size. And number two – you shouldn't be the one moving. Uh, we'll reset and do this one from the 19 now. Be second and second seven. Second about seven. 6.42, clock counting down. And they meet him in the backfield. Yeah, They've picked blow up the whistle. That, uh, blow the whistle before they break his back. Gave him about 
half yard loss there, so we're going to be third and about eight. I tell now. you, I would have liked to. I would have liked to have seen a screen pass there. And I think that's what they're trying to set up. You know, he did it last week. He he kind of they have drew to. him into it. Yeah. Um, Cairo tried to run a while ago and uh, almost threw an interception. There it is. Almost oh, an yeah, interception. He, mm. he, well, he I'm, had his hands on it. I'm not sure which receiver he was going for. They, was, they, they were really a little too close uh, together uh, there. Inicio had the ball in his hands and just dropped it. We got a flag back here. I don't know what the flag was for, if it was holding on Jacob. Um, or we got rough in the pass route. My ball, eyes followed the ball. Yeah. Well, either way. It's against us. Yeah. Either way, we'll uh, most likely be. We'll be third and long now if they take the penalty. Instead of. Uh, yeah, they're going to take it. I'm a little. Actually, I'm a little surprised. They I, didn't. I wouldn't have taken that penalty. I well, I don't know. I, I think he knew. He knew regardless was going to go for it most likely. And it would have been fourth and seven. Yeah, because we're not taking third and eighteen. Uh, so he knows we don't have the ability to take a um, field goal attempt from that position on yeah. the field. All right, there's the pass. He's out. Of, he's out of bounds. He's never uh, been able to. He was not a legal receiver at that point unless he was pushed out by. We got another flag down again, so we're probably going to have another holding call. See, Brantley's leading X, and Brantley beat Clinch County last week in the scrimmage game. Tell you what, I've got a brand-new app. We'll see if they uh, are updating it. See if we can get some scores. Definitely during halftime. It will be a 20-minute halftime. Man will not be playing on the field. Uh, we'll we'll kind of go dark, not literally, but you can take a break at your house. Uh, we'll leave the camera pointed down at the at the field and – or on the scoreboard, but me and Shane will come back and give you some updates. All right, here we go. We're going to try to punt a little squibber down here, and that is a perfect, 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 perfect punt. We're going to give the uh, syrup makers the ball on about the two-yard line with 5.50 left here in the second quarter. Um, Cairo just not really hitting on all cylinders right now the way they look offensively. Um, we don't want to wake them up. We hope they stay that way. That's exactly and right. And part of that is because our defense has played well. It's not um, – we've got to give our defense some credit. We've forced them into the situation that they're in and uh, the way they've been playing. So I'd love to see a, a safety right here. Or a, but I – don't expect them to throw the ball out of the end zone the way they've been doing with the pass. Well, if they do, I'd sure like to see a pick six. You asked a while ago, I do see some lightning off on the – yeah, they're just going to try – ooh, I had him in right there in the backfield Did. and missed, missed a tackle. Scratches for about two yards maybe. i tell you what, this has been a long two quarters for, for, for them to be only ten minutes apiece. I just noticed the official just woke up and turned the clock back on. Yep. He had not turned it on. <laughs> been a lot of flags. That's one of the reasons. And the teams have been running the ball. Yeah, just trying to get the ball out from under that um, goal post is, or the syrup makers. Yeah, and the, if the Raiders can hold here, again, they should should get, both get, to get some good field position. Picks up about another two yards. It's going to be third and about, let's see, f six yards here. Um. Syrup makers bringing in the big boys now. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a tall guy there running off, running on the field. Looks like he's going to line up in that split position. He's dragging that uh, back across the middle has been what their success has been in thus far in the first half. Um, play clock down to about five now. Four, three, two. Flag. And they uh, jump off sides there, did the syrup makers, and we should get them back about five more yards. Again, this team is learning a new offense under a new coach, and um, we'll get you some more information on that uh, again for halftime. Um, hopefully, some scores around. Uh, there's actually, you know, some some regular season games going on tonight around the state. Uh, I think about also was a regular season game tonight. Um, 
Brooks and Ware are playing tonight. Uh, we'll try to get update on that. Uh, I think remember I th Brooks being the team that put us out last year that we had the chance to. Yeah, it was in a you know similar you know situation with uh, Brooks last year. For we were up uh, fourteen to seven. And he's got it. Oh, he just misses a. And there's the there's the play they're looking for for the big guy. He's going to have the first down. They get our, we get our hand on the ball. That was a great play. Good concentration on his part. Um, number twenty two for the syrup makers. Um, didn't you, see which one of ours. It's almost impossible <laughs> to see our numbers. But the uh, well, when you get a get a hand on the ball instead of knocking it down, he just kind of tipped up. What he he did what he could. When you get a quarterback and you give him that much time, and the kid's got a pretty good arm. He threw he threw that ball on a rope on nearly four uh, about thirty five yards because he was in the end zone yeah. nearly forty yards. I thought we had a chance to get him in the end zone. He scrambles away from that and then makes a completion on a tip pass. Now they're just going to go back to the run here. The game's good. about a yard and a half before we stand him up. Be second about eight, eight and a half. I tell you what, we had uh we had an opportunity down there, Shane, to to to, to hold them here. Um they got a big completion here. If our defense can bow their back here and keep this team off the board, be a yeah, lot of confidence going into that football field. You, a lot of good things to talk about. Three fifty six, three fifty five, three fifty four left in the um first half. Um again and all we get is the third quarter for our varsity, so uh, this is going to be a short game as far as the score and the – and i tell you right now, um, if the game ended right now – Ooh, what a hit by the linebacker. Our Raiders have gained a lot of confidence here in this first half. Well, I hadn't seen it, and we probably won't because we didn't see it. It's going to be third and about a yard. Uh, they're going to spot it back here, so about two and a half yards there for first. Yeah, and that was a, a big hit there by Jacob Carver, uh, stand that young man up. You know, if you don't know it, folks, uh, if you hadn't heard through the word that uh, our boys practice early in the morning from 530 to 730 in the morning, um, they stay away from that heat in the afternoons. Unlike a lot of schools, this young man bounces it outside. And he is quick, breaks another tackle, and he races down the sideline, finally brought down. Scramble to about the 22-yard line. Trying uh, to see who that is. Of the Raiders. Um Again, we don't have – Number 13. Number four for the Cairo syrup makers was the back on that run. 13 for the Raiders. I'll have to look that one up. I think he's one of those young DBs. That's uh, Fernandez. That's, that's Fernandez. Well, we've heard some talk from him. All right, it's going to be a timeout. 324 left in the first half. Uh, again, your Bacon County Red Raiders 14. Cairo Start Maker 7. We'll take a short break and we'll be back here in just a moment. All right, we're back live at Red Raider Field. Give a shout-out for our uh, PA announcer, Mr. Joe Boatwright, clock operator, Mr. Andy Houston. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can keep these boys from going in the end zone. A quick, quick pass, pass across the middle. Big tackle there. I like to see form tackles. I'd like to see his number, but I can't. i tell you what I do like about that tackle, um, Brent. I think that was Trey Stewart. 
Yes, I believe you're correct. Um, he made the tackle, went back to his position, didn't uh, shout and carry no, on. And just going back to business. And, this uh, is business now. Cheerleaders asking for a little defense here. K Road got a second and about 18 inches here. Almost snapped it over his head. Yeah, We're going to bounce this right one now. outside. We're going to hold it. He's going to get first, a first down. It's going to be first and goal here. We'll see what our defense is made of here. Well, two plays, Shane, has defined this drive when we had them, you know, yeah, backed hemmed up. Hemmed up inside the five, and they're going to make a, a drive here and, and come uh, you know, potentially come away with seven or three. A uh, lot to see. A big stand here. 2.36 left oh. in this first half. 2.35. Clock's now rolling. Um, again, he's got um, – you know, I apologize, no names, but number four in the back, he's going for a quick fade to the end zone, and we – Give up the touchdown. Give up the touchdown. That was a good um, um, toss and catch there by Cairo. Um, again, that's one of those things you practice all uh, spring and summer on and uh, well, the, just execution there. I couldn't – I'm again, we're way, way away. Uh, but uh, you folks at home make it a total little better. It didn't appear that the defensive back turned his back at least – no, it was he had, he had decent coverage. He just he, it was just a perfectly thrown ball and uh, well, it, it, a, it comes a, a point I think, and again, uh, it's just a matter of development. It comes a point that ball is blocked, and we still so we're going to retain made. the lead here, fourteen. To, plenty of time to score again with, with this uh, with this uh, Kofer and hurry up offense. Um, yeah, two nineteens an eternity with that hurry up. But when you're in, you know, receivers going to have to especially. Uh, that deep down uh, inside the 20, you're going to have to read your receiver a little bit to determine whether the ball's coming or not so you can get your head around. And, uh, folks, we're monitoring some uh, some little bit of weather. I think it's further than it looks because um, we're facing due east here in the press box. So it's a it's a little north-northeast of us, of Alma. And let me stress, um, with some, with some lightning. monitoring, that's all we're doing is <laughs> monitoring through the window. We've got the official uh, – Gadgets up here that tell us that we got lightning within five. And just just a um, side note, we are uh, the Bacon County School District is putting in lightning uh, detection um, that will be here uh, next week and be able to detect lightning within five and all that for just the safety. Yeah, scrimmages of the don't count for lightning. You no, know. you can get knocked out during that. It doesn't, <laughs> doesn't matter. You're supposed we'll to get it, back up. We will have it for the regular season. No, it, it's plenty of distance away. We've heard some horror stories. Yeah, because there's the, no wind blowing. You look at the flag; it's not moved since we've been here. So there's not a whole lot moving. If it's if there's any weather, it's going uh, north of us and east. We could use a little rain. I think we're expecting some tomorrow. Uh, maybe it'll hold off when we get this game in. No problems. Raiders are going to receive from our left. Uh, moving left to right. Two minutes and 19 seconds remaining. Again, a long first and second quarter. Uh We'll play another 10-minute third quarter and then a six-minute fourth. And they're going to kick off, just get right in the hole there. That's and a tough ball to gather up. Oh, don't you never run backwards, Oh, looks Bob. like he got a horse collar there, but he's Can not he, going to call he, it. Yes, he did. He did he, throw he, it He out. did call the flag. And that's going to give us at least 15 if, there. If that's what he called, I don't know why the white hat standing right there on top yeah. of it wouldn't have called it. The Raiders are going to. Yeah, he's, he's motioning. I think that was yeah. a definite horse collar there. Raiders should start on the 20 instead of the 5. Hopefully there's no discussion there. They've changed everything they've called tonight just about, so I don't know if this one will be called. I think he's calling him off of it here. No, he did. Yes. So. There's a face max horse collar or something there. It was, we know, it was a noticeable jerk in yeah. the upper body. So the Raiders are going to start with uh, not great field position, but a lot better, better than it could field be. position. Again, 2.13 on the clock, plenty of time for this. Raider offense to make its way down the field. May see a screen here, Shane. Yeah, he's not thrown it all night, and I don't well, know if – Well, actually, I see Carver. Looks like we're going to take a direct – is that Carver in the backfield? Yes. Nope. Yes, that is. Yeah. Yep. It's like the horseman package is what they call it. Again, 213. Raiders lead 14 to 13 against the Cairo Syrup Makers. 
Official discussing something here. I'm not sure what the discussion can be. And I think they got another, they threw another flag. I, I think they got an unsportsmanlike conduct from on one of their players. One of the coaches over there. And again, Sorry right. about that, folks. The clock operator coming here. <laughs> the, uh, um, everybody's uh, worried about this lightning, but we do have detection on the field, the uh, um, handheld device that the uh, athletic director carries. So if you do see that, the kids are safe. All right, we're going to snap it to uh, and the other fullback as uh, Carver's really uh, went up. Again, 205, 203, 2. 202, um, hurry up here. Is, uh, Raiders are nearly midfield. They're going to have to make do. sure the whistle blows before they snap the ball. They blow it in. There it is. I hear it. And there he goes. And I'm not – oh, here we go to the corner. Side. Maybe we'll keep the – Oh, what a great – I like to see that dive. Just positive yardage. We got Demetrius Williams at quarterback. 145. Number one. They stopped the clock long enough to move clocks. I mean, the ball. I tell you what, he, he's – Metris looks good running the ball back there. You, when you have a Metris, again, he's about six foot, uh, two hundred and probably five, two hundred ten pounds. And you got Jacob Carver, who now has the ball. He's about six one, two thirty. One forty three, one forty two on the clock. Um, Red Raiders on about the thirty seven yard line here. Need to run this as quick as possible. And Demetrius is a threat to throw the ball. He threw a touchdown, short touchdown pass uh, last week, but yeah. he, he does have a big arm. Official timeout here. they just slowing things down. Huh? Calling something on uh, the equipment. Yeah, I don't know what he's saying. Something on Jacob there, but I can't tell. All right, here we go. Minute 24, 23. And there we go. And, and he's got him. He's got him if he can connect he, here. And I think he – Oh, just out of the reach of him. That was touchdown. I, I, just out of reach of uh, big man, Nassio Washington. I tell you what, that would have been something right there. And yes, sir. I, I, that problem may not be the last time we see that type of throw on this drive either. Um, oh, he just was a flip of a wrist there, and you saw that tight spiral. Going to run it to the outside. He breaks it. Demetrius there on the carry. I think the Raiders have two timeouts remaining. 104, 103, 102. It's going to be fourth and about. I mean, not fourth, but uh, yeah, fourth and about three yards here. Bacon County's going to line up pretty quick here. And go right up the middle, does Jacob. Just got a text in from a loyal follower um, looking at the radar. Uh, the lightning is a little further than it looks, moving uh, closer to from Baxley to Jessup than it is yeah, cause our you, way. You, there's no air movement at all here. I mean, it's, if it's we see anything, unless it's uh, uh, we got uh, a whistle. Defense and offense. Well, he did. <laughs> the official did an encroachment first, and then he turned around and, and calls yeah. it on the offense. So. But this is scrimmage for these officials, too, I guess. Got to keep in mind. 36 seconds. It's going to be first and 15. It's a great spot for that screen because they're trying to get to the quarterback right now. And they wind it up 36, 35 seconds. I uh, need to get snap that ball. Hurry. There we go for the pass. Again, he throws it out deep to the receiver. He comes back oh, forward. Oh, almost just a great short. play. 25.2 seconds left on the clock. One thing about it, clock stops. We don't have to call a timeout. Not really. We need to disguise what we're doing here. We're going to be <laughs> passing the ball. Um, again, we're on about the 20. No, I'll take that back on the 31-yard line. And uh, Cairo coming full guns here. 
Back to the pylon again. Receiver and catches it. Got touchdown. touchdown. No, he drops the ball. Oh, he had it in his hand and oh, dropped no. it. No. Yeah. He, he didn't have it long enough? Apparently not. The official uh, <laughs> and Nisio both uh, getting down doing push-ups. Um, I'm saying uh, my, my, my producer here, uh, Carter's telling me that uh, – it was snatched out of his hands. The, 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 he kind of caught it with the guy's arm, I think. Yeah, he's he kind of in there was, with he it. He was locked in with you know, it. When he, so. when he pulled his, he kind of pulled it out. So, great play there by the defensive player. We'll give credit where credit's due, but what another great pass and yeah, catch. Cre- pass and catch and defensive. That was just good football all the way around there. Third and 15. Sometimes you just got to tip your hat to the defense. 19 seconds. They're bringing the noise. And we're just going to run call it out, here out here. 15, 14. And I think, yeah, uh, I think they just want to get down to the fourth down here and just maybe throw one into the end zone maybe. I think so. I think he wanted a little bit more time off the clock. Uh, Kofor run out there maybe to tell his player not to call it because uh, what's that's going to happen. Now what will happen if we do? That gives him the ball with about five seconds probably. left depending on what we do. That's correct. Um, that is correct. I'll tell you, this is moment, uh, momentum going into the, to the uh, um, field house at uh, halftime up on a 4A school, 14 to 13. Well, it will be if we can go up on them. Uh, come come in. We don't want to do anything crazy Cairo right here. get the ball here in the third quarter uh, um, coming out. What I would like to see, Shane, here is I'd like to see a pass over the middle, um, irregardless if we score or not, uh, just, to, just to maybe soften things up a little bit on that corner. I tell you what, we've had some great success. Uh, there's no doubt, folks, and we'll, we'll, we'll talk about this at halftime. Um, uh, we, we lost some, some key athletes uh, last year. But we have some kids. Uh, Bacon County still got athletes. Uh, these kids are young, they, uh, and they're not real, real big. But these kids, they love to play football, and uh, they're coachable, and, uh, and and they're athletic. So uh, we've got a lot to, lot to look forward to. It's always been here in Bacon County. It's just, it's just a mindset change that had to take place. And um, you see the kids year after year getting a little bit more um, – confident in the in the play of football here and what we have the capability of doing all right looks like we're going to see uh carter's back in we'll have a heave ho here unless we uh throw a little screen that's probably what they're looking maybe looking for with carver in the backfield uh nine and a half seconds here so we want to Probably drag this across the front so at least if we get some, they call it down again. And nobody. They're rushing three now. They got some big three coming now, I'm telling you. Uh, looks like. Cairo calls timeout. Um, they're going to have to put some time back on the clock. Um, we'll see if they do or not. 9.5. Um, and I'm sure the guy over there does not know how to put those seconds back on there. We are going to take a quick break here with 4.8 seconds, unless it's changed. Uh, scores 14-13. Raiders trying to hang on to this one-point lead as we go into the half with some little bit of momentum. Back in just a moment. The NFHS Network, powered by Play On Sports. All right, folks, we're going to line it up again. The clock is showing 4.8. Um, actually, should be 9.5. Um, again, the official is not running the clock, is not able to get it reset um, just for lack of know-how. know-how on the clock. And this may work out to our favor if uh, we don't get a first down here. So, And we go to the pylon. He's wide open, and it's going to be intercepted. And the time did run out. Um but they got to get it. They got, him. They got, got him, him down. They threw a flag up again. Well, the only reason um, that ball was intercepted is it was tipped up. Uh, it hung in the air just a bit. The receiver was open again at that pylon. Just got to hope nobody's hurt down here. Nope. Kofor's trying to direct them. We got an estranged uh, John Deere driver here on the field. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, what they. He's doing. <laughs> 
He's picking the coach up there. Okay, he's All there right, for folks, a Well, after the first half, your Bacon County Red Raiders lead the Cairo Syrup Makers 14 to 13. Again, let me remind you, Cairo being a 4A school, Bacon County being a 2A school, this is a great momentum booster going into half. Um, again, we'll come back for a second half. Bacon County will have uh, the the will kick actually kick the ball off in the second half. Um, We'll have 10 minutes, and then after that first or that third quarter, we will go into JV for the six minutes in the fourth. We'll take a halftime break, and we'll be right back here on the NFHS Network, powered by Play on Sports, and most importantly, brought to you by BCTV Productions. And we'll be back in about 10 minutes uh, for a for a halftime show uh, and some updates and some other things that's going on around the state of Georgia and locally.
All right, Raider Nation, we are live and a little late on our halftime. I won't call it a show. Call it a little short presentation now. We got a little scattered out here uh, with some. Shane had to go down and have a conversation with a couple different people for various reasons, and then I was talking to my crew here. Uh, we have about a minute left before uh, we're going to kick this second half off. Uh, third quarter will consist of ten minutes. Fourth quarter, six for our JV uh, to get some time in. Um, we're still kind of studying this radar, some concerns that when, it, when the skies are black and lightning hits, it looks like it's right here on you, but uh, it's miles away. We should be should be okay to get this game in uh, without any difficulties. A uh, few scores from around uh, the league. It's 7-7, seven to seven, uh, Ware and Brooks County. Uh, Brooks is supposed to be a little bit better than they were last year. Uh, and then uh, Vidalia is leading Swainsboro, uh, 7-0, early or late in the first half. Uh, most of those games started at 7.30, whereas we started at 7. Just, just in, Bacon County winning 14-13 to at halftime. <laughs> That's correct, 14-13 to over Cairo. If you're just joining us for some reason, uh, the Raiders are getting ready to tee it up. Your Bacon County Red Raiders just now coming well, back. Well, Shane, they, they got right to have some momentum, uh, have some excitement. Again, they're leading 14-13 uh, to 13 over a 4A school, a perennial uh, power in uh, 4A. And I can promise you Cairo had a, uh, a brief encouragement speech at halftime. <laughs> hey, I and promise you that. Thus reminded um, where they are in the – food chain um, they will receive the ball as you can tell Raiders strolling out on the field there see whose halftime speech uh, worked out better Raiders need to stop here we've only had one we held them to a attempted field goal and then we that was after a turnover uh, missed field goal had a blocked extra point. That's why we maintain the lead to 14. Lightning is popping north and east of us, but we are well out of the projected path at this point. Here we go, second half here at Red Field on the Red Monster. Little pooch kit. He called for the fair catch. You know, I understand that. Uh, not wanting to kick it deep to their uh, more athletic players. Uh, uh, getting it on about the 33-yard line, which is not uh, terrible. I've seen a lot of high school teams, especially single-A and double-A teams, going to that. Uh, just it's hard to find that that uh, long-foot kicker. But, um, two. um Coach Kofer and Coach K talking that uh, Aubrey could just about put that ball on a dime. They find a hole in that return team. They're going to try to put the ball there just to try to throw off the momentum of the return. All right, K-Rose going to take it here again with the, what the Red Raiders ideally can do as, as a three and out stop here. Just a little quick and, back. Uh, and uh, He uh, takes us, three for, of us, for a ride here. For a little ride there. They, got, they had – Start out with number 21, and I haven't seen him back in the game. Since uh, that play over here where he went out, I have not either. Yeah, no. it was about midway early in the first quarter. Um, Picked up a long two there on first down. Be second he was injured, eight. but they have a number uh, number 24 and a number four. It's going to be currently real quick backs. Not a lot of size, but a lot of speed. He's going to hand it again, off to him right again. Back. That's their uh, game plan, looks like, here in the second oh. half. And he runs himself into a I tell you what, we were fortunate there, Shane, that he yeah, ran he into the back of his own player and kind of fell of down. I tell you, if he'd have bounced it out to the right, he'd have, he'd have had some uh, some green or uh, some grass to, <laughs> well, <laughs> some grass uh, to run on. Let me uh, give a little <laughs> side note on this grass. They have had a time, and what this is, what you're seeing right now, if you're looking at this, is they shaved it down this last time to get it to the, the height that it should be. We'll start with the real moor next week, and uh, it'll green up hopefully for Friday, and especially for the next week for Pierce. It should be uh, yeah. green and looking a lot better than it does now, especially with the BC and all back out there. The field look good. Shout out to Mr. Jimmy Scott, who does a he works hard on the, all of these fields. 
Be third and long here. He's got his man if he hits him. And he hits the one that nobody's looking. Uh, I did not see him crossing. We're going to not go. He gonna, scores there. He's going to call him nope, out there. But he I must have stepped he out on the yeah. two-yard line. I thought he was hitting the skinny post route. Instead, we catch the man dragging across the, the, the tallest of all the receivers, the one that I believe got him out of the hole uh, early in the, <clears throat> excuse me, about midway through the uh, second quarter. A big pass play there of about 60 yards. Kofor uh, upset about something with the officials on that play. Okay, so it's going to be first and goal from about the two-and-a-half yard line. 8.30, here in the third quarter. Just a quick pitch out Oh, here. and he and drops, he drops the ball. And he, I don't know how he got away from that. And Please how he tackle him the there. Ball. There you so go. So they're going to back him up to about the ten yard line. So about an eight yard loss on the play. And that would have been a fumble because that was a it was a toss. Yeah. We really needed the Red Raider to pick that one up, but nonetheless, it's going to be about like Shane said, nearly a ten yard loss. Uh, eight to be exact, because uh, it's going to be second and second and ten. Uh, second goal, basically. Yeah, that snap was a little high, and he's going to scamper for about a oh, four-yard pickup. Hey, how you doing there? So it's going to be uh, it's going to be third down. I tell you what, this would be huge and for the Red Raiders. Five here to give up a, a big pass play like that and somehow hold them here to three or less points. Like you said, I got a feeling these guys got a knot jerked in them at halftime. We'll pick up their pace. He's going to roll out. And a and whistle I blows. don't know. They got a movement on the offense on the mm -hmm. right-hand side, so it's going to be uh, back them up and do it again five yards further back. So it'll be third and about about ten now. Shane, that was that was looking like the, the, the play they drew up earlier for their touchdown pass where the quarterback rolled out and hit the guy in the, on the right side. Yeah, so it is going to be something about the ten and a half yard line. So it's going to be third and goal. Um, Cairo again. Uh, don't even know that they changed the play. I didn't see any audible. I didn't see anything change on the. Just a quick there pass out here. That fade, and he pulls it away from him at the last minute. Wow, that was a quick, um, good defensive play. It really was because the the ball was going to be thrown to the back shoulder of the receiver. And our and defense back reached back and uh, pulled the ball away from him at the last minute. So, so they are going to hold to a field goal attempt here. And, and he I is 0 for 1. Take that for granted. That was a great hold there for Bacon County. Uh, uh, Cairo, again, shooting herself in the foot a little bit with uh, penalties down there deep in uh, our end of the field. Um, but, but you know what they say, Shane? It's part it's of the part game. It's part of the game. <laughs> <laughs> hey. And uh, there's South Paul coming out to – See what he can do again this time. Be about a 25-yard attempt. Wow. He got all of that he one. He did. And if it was, let's, yeah. So that one's good. For the first time in the game, Cairo takes the lead with 6.54 left in the third quarter in the final uh, quarter of the varsity part of this scrimmage. It's 16, Cairo, Bacon County, 14. We're going to stay on the air here. I, I wanted to just to add to what you were saying earlier about some things that were going on this year. Um, <clears throat> we have a new year. We have a. New principal, uh, hint, hint, Mr. Ross New, um, been very impressed. And, you know, who am I? I'm just a peon teacher, but uh, real impressed with uh, how he's uh, handled not only himself, but handled the faculty and the students. Um, his, uh, his first few weeks, uh, he's been on board with us, don't get me wrong, since about uh, April or May, but um, he's really took the reins uh, the first of this school year. And, and it really is, his first two weeks have, have flown by. Um, the kids have been been great uh the hallways have been unbelievable um it's just a you can tell his his presence has made a difference leadership leadership he's had some really good ideas that he's implemented um that i think the kids are buying into a little extended lunch time um and you know giving them some extra time in the middle of the day uh giving a senior privilege which is brand new for those of you uh on fridays if, if seniors and, and, and i know it's at least this they can't have any tardies any absences um, that week, and they can they can leave on Friday for lunch uh, to go get some Dairy Queen or Another whatever kickoff. whatever they 
And he let him bring it out of the end zone. He's not I'm supposed not, to do that. I'm not sure why he let him do that. Unless the uh, coaches are all wanting to know what's going on. He's not supposed to. He's supposed to, he's supposed to call the ball dead. The ball should be on the 20-yard line, not the 18. Um, again, official just not knowing what he's doing here. Uh, he's going to have a conversation. No. Gopher has, uh, has got all rights to go out there and say something. Um, but he's going to not say it. Hmm, that's interesting. What would have been even worse, Shane, if the young man would have got hurt on that play? Yeah, or fumbled. Yeah, exactly. All right, here we go. Raiders line it up. It's like Jacob Carver in the backfield. I think we're just going to do some Aubrey Carter. grinded out football here. I'd like to see the Raiders take it down the field here. here. Oh, Ooh, Carter keep got, it? Yeah, he kept it and lost about eight yards, seven yards on the play. I don't um, understand that play. They, uh, sp Cairo, they spread it out pretty good on that, keeping us – um, uh, was all that, the way sideline to sideline. It had to been some kind of option read there. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be second, about fifteen now. Again, I'm, I'm a little confused about that play call. Um, well, I don't know necessarily the play call, but other or than the decision, the, the decision that, the, one of the two, Aubrey. or the decision there. <clears throat> Going straight into the horseman here, and I just they're just going to line it up and grind to Oh, him. look at this fake to the outside. He's wide open with a lot of room, a lot of grass. He's going to be ran down by that great, great linebacker that there. A, that was an excellent play call there by Coach K. Um, mm, that's one of those what little, they have, and just a little cross buck, basically. Is yeah, what that that's was. what it was. Little, uh, again, you don't want to tip your hat too much during <laughs> scrimmage games, but uh, I'm telling you, uh, this will be a huge that's boost. That's the first time I've seen that play, or we've run that play. I may have missed, but that's the first time I think It is the first time games. we've seen it play. I think we got a little pass out of this. Uh, this horseman as well. We do. Um, actually scored on one last week. Um, that last touchdown was out the horseman. Again, that's just back to. What was that? Um, that was Carver. We're about a two yard gain. Okay. That's what they're anticipating. That's what they're loading up the box for. Is him. Um, you got um. Say he, Aubrey's on the sidelines right now. So. It's like, yeah. We got um. Is this Jewel back in the game? Yeah, that's Dawson in there at, at the wheel. Um, 5-23-22 left in this third quarter. They could have got a little hobble. Again, I, we have all night, folks, just seen laundry all over the field. And uh, they're calling uh, illegal procedure on us again. Movement, I think, on that left side. Um, so we'll back it up, do it again, five yards. Those are the things that we have to eliminate when you play in a quality opponent, and this is a quality opponent, no doubt. As we move into the regular season starting next week, it's 7.30 right here at Raider Field, 7.30. Broadcast will begin approximately at 7 with some pregame. Again, our radio boys, the PV, PV boys will be live. He takes it out. Yeah, that was a that was just a uh, should have been a, a reception and first down. Should there. have been a completion there, and uh, it was off his shoulders. I mean, it was a catchable I, it, ball it, straight out of his hands. And that, that's a Kara's doing a good job of uh, um, flying to the ball. Um, ball's tipped. They're going to catch it. It's not going to hit the grass. And uh, again, that's what they did right there. Mm. That should have been a first down. Hate to see that, but if we keep saying the rest of the part of the game. That's part of the game. It we is. Sixteen fourteen, four minutes and fifty eight seconds remaining. <coughs> Coach Gay's got a uh his wife, they just uh, brought into the world a new baby just a few weeks ago. Max Kynard. They're here at the game tonight. Oh, and big it's an hit. excellent defensive play there. No, oh, the no, quarterback it kept it. It mm. was a great, great uh, <laughs> he faked, fake. He faked us all out there. He's still on his feet. I think they're over there trying to strip the ball. That was an – I mean, he he faked me out of my socks that, on that one. That was a that was a Matt Thrift special right there. Yeah, we sucked into that very well. But I can tell you, the uh, up back, um, he got the worst end of that deal. He got slammed back behind the line of scrimmage. It's like Cairo's kind of woke up a little bit. Yeah, a I believe bit better, we, we uh, woke that giant. Um, 444-43 left here in the third quarter. 
Raiders. 16 14. If Raiders anticipate a, a possible victory here over this K Row Syrup Makers, we're going to definitely have to hold them to a field goal here. Yeah, time out here. Uh, Coach Langford, uh, defense coordinator, going to kind of get a handle on what's going on, kind of settle the boys down. And uh, Yeah, 431 remaining here in this, this uh, third quarter. It's going to buy a lot faster than the other two. Uh, first and 10 on the 25 as the Syrup Makers again are looking to score. And again, uh, for the second consecutive time here. We're going to take a short break here on the NFHS Network, powered by Play On Sports. All right, here we go. K. Ray with split backs in the backfield. I can't imagine them doing. They they may try to surprise us with a pass, but they're going to most likely hand off here to the left side. We're going to catch him in the backfield before he gets back to the line of scrimmage. I think we lost, uh, or they we did. did. They lost, they lost uh, maybe a yard and a half, two yards oh, on that. Yeah, yep. a we'll long back two. About a yard. Uh, Second and 13, four minutes. Two seconds left in the third quarter. There's the pass Quick across pass that middle, and, and that's, that's about drag, three or That drag route mm -hmm. is killing us tonight. Three or four completions right there that have, have been for first downs. We, we had them backed to, up there and, uh, again, gave up the big big pass play. I haven't been able to defend that all night. And that's, a, that's a pass that I'd like to see us throw. And Kyle Carey, I'm going to run that until they can stop it. And right now we've not been able to stop it other than one uh, pass down here on the other end that Jacob Carver got a hand on. We've uh, pretty much gave up to them that, that play all there night. It there it again. is again. And they may call an interference. Yeah, he did. He calls interference on that. Yeah. And he knows it. I think if he catches that ball, he walks in the end he zone. He does. <clears throat> High school, it's not spot of the foul. So uh, they'll mark this off. Defensive pass interference. Well, I'd take the I'd take the penalty over the score any time. That's gonna be automatic first down. It's gonna be first and goal now from about the nine and a half yard line. <clears throat> Three twenty-three. Left here in this final scrimmage quarter for the varsity. Yeah, that's a handoff right at the middle yeah, for the touchdown. Just, you know, we don't even put a hand on him hardly. Yep. Three minutes and 13 seconds on the clock. k -Row puts it in following an interception uh, that was a basically a tip pass or a bobbled uh, completion. Should have been a completion uh, by the Red Raiders and it was intercepted. Score is now 22 to 14 awaiting the extra point. And Bacon County has not scored since I was at late in the first quarter. Mm -hmm. um, had a chance to go up 21 to seven, and they've kind of turned the tides on us. And uh, again, their kicker has got his foot back under him. It's 23 now to 14 with 3:13 left in this uh, final scrimmage quarter for the varsity here in this 2015 season. We're going to take a short break, and we're going to have a kickoff back to the Red Raiders with a, with some time on the clock to get some things going. Uh, we'll see what we can do when we get back.
All right, Raider Nation, we are back. 313 remaining on the clock in the third quarter. That's 313 remaining in the varsity session. We'll have six minutes on the clock for the fourth. We'll clear the clock here in the top of the fourth quarter and uh, the varsity JV go at it. Uh, Got see a, a, little, set see up a there. little run back here, and he does power through to about the 32-yard line. That's a pretty good return there. It was. Scamper up to you. I, I, I like to see that there was no indecisiveness with that young man. He picked his uh, lane, and he went for it as hard as he could. The, one of the worst things you can do is kind of jimmy jabber around back there. Uh, but you're right. We had a nice little wedge set up. Just like we got uh, Metrius back, back at the helm. Um, Wesley Cothran on the wing. KJ, maybe KJ on the other wing. Yeah, we're just going to play smash mouth football here. 257, 256 here in the third quarter. You have to think they're going to pass probably right here. I haven't seen the screen all night. I don't know if he's trying to not tip her hand again and not let that show up on uh, film or uh, just not comfortable running against this K routine. That, that, um, that front four. Front four um, being a uh, pretty athletic bunch, but a pretty smart bunch as well. Bring the call from sideline. Um. Clock still running. 225, 224. And they're holding up again. We're just going deep with the ball here. Oh, we and he's got, got him beat. And there it is, folks, that's a for a completion. Down to about the 26-yard line. And it, folks, that's been there all yeah, night long. Just we just and throw there. We just, uh, you know, a couple a couple good defensive plays. We've made some great throws. And, and just missed a throw here earlier. Um, I think that was late in the second quarter. Um, that goes for uh, about a 44-yard gain. Again, uh, Raiders right up to the line. Hurry up. Um, 2.14 on the clock as he gets out of bounds. Again, we're playing like this is the fourth quarter because we got to score here to have a chance at yeah. keeping it, it close. And, again, uh, you know, we want to win. Every, nobody, everybody wants to win, but uh, a win is coming out of here with some confidence, which I certainly think we can, Shane. Yeah, we're little, and I'm not uh, tucking my tail on this because no. of the score either. I'm just saying, you know, we, 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 uh, we've uh, got opportunity to come out of here. I don't want any injuries. And I see uh, Jacob coming off just a little bit of a hobble. Um, certainly can't afford for this young man to uh, to suffer any type of l lingering or long term injury. I think he's just he got a little banged up on one of the plays. Well, I think if you told me earlier in the week uh, we'd have Cairo twenty three fourteen or they would have us twenty three fourteen, I would have took it. Um, oh, absolutely. Because uh, we lost a lot of folks going to be young coming in playing a four A team, um, top ten last year. Um, that would have been something I would <laughs> took money to the bank with, but. Um, I'm telling you, the guys have uh, showed some heart here, not playing good. And again, we keep saying just a scrimmage game, but it means a whole lot to these boys, um, the time they put in to play well and do well or not. Another pass play. It's going to be caught right there for a first, for a first down. first down, the clock will stop with a minute and 27. Uh, I apologize. I have no clue as far as number-wise. I think that is uh, Nisio. No, that is not Nisio on that side. I think it's Snail, Snail yeah, number Snail. 14. So 127 here. Raiders have roared down the field. The ball will be set in play here and roll the clock, which the referee did here we not go. do. There's Cothran running yeah. the ball. He, he scoots through to, for to about, about the five-yard mm -hmm. line there. 120, 19 left in the third quarter. Inside the five. Well, here, here again, you got a you got a chance. Maybe we can punch one in here, Shane. And, and again, it's a practice game. We can practice an onside kick here. As the whistle blows, I got a wonder if we didn't snap it before. He's, he's going to call it on us. Because he didn't set the ball in play. They didn't get the time. He's got players running off the field, but he's saying that Kofor's mad. But we got to give that official time to set the ball in play. Um, and he did not do that there. And I say I understand Kofor's frustration there, too. We're just trying to – that's exactly what we're – Attempting to do is keep them off guard. They're standing on their heels right there. Players running off the field, and we're trying to snap the ball and go. And the officials holding up the 
play. 53, 52 seconds left here in this third quarter. Again, Bacon County looking to put the ball in the end zone one last time. And we got it. Oh, oh just, almost. just, just missed a great uh, pass there. So the stop, clock stops with 44.3 seconds. Third um, and eight. Yeah. We can get a first down without scoring. Um we just don't have a lot of time. <laughs> it's not a lot of time, and we're down to the last two downs, basically. But it'd be good to punch one in here. Yeah, I, I do a lot for these boys uh, too, putting ball in play here. There it is, touchdown. Hey, that's oh, he dropped it. Oh my goodness, how, Shane! How many times have we had that? It was right in the bread basket. Now, yeah, that's that's three. I know we've given away touchdown wise <sighs> that we should have scored. So it's going to be fourth down now. Forty point two seconds. Um. You can't worry about what Kara's going to do with the ball if we turn it over. I don't nah. foresee them trying to do anything other than being a scrimmage, just going into this fourth quarter of uh, JV. Um, so this is it. Uh, last play of the – Should be the last varsity scrimmage play of the 2015 season. We're going to try that little fade again, and uh, he's on top of it. It should have held him up a little bit, but um, – 35 even on the clock. So – Raiders should are do it. Yeah, it probably will. We'll see what this uh, coach is going to do. Uh, he may run a may run a play here. Um, yeah, I don't. I, I, he, I don't. I don't. I don't expect him to take a knee by no means. Um, I, I, I just expect him to hand the ball off uh, and then give it to the younger kids. Uh, but again, the Red Raiders have played a, a great game. We've seen a lot of again a lot of potential. We've been talking about folks. Um, just a few mistakes, you know, here and there. A couple key those drop passes or passes that were hit up in the air and, and intercepted are really the difference in the game. Um, and I know a lot of penalties factored in on mainly on the Cairo side, but a few on our side as well. Uh, and they do hand the ball up to the – or the quarterback actually kept it. Uh, that'll probably – 27, 26. Run the clock out. I'll be <coughs> surprised. Like if, he's not calling time out here, just going to let the clock run. Yeah, he's – And I think Cairo knows they uh, um going to slip by this one. Um yeah, you know, I, I don't, you know, so I try to be as uh, biased as possible trying to call these games, but I tell you what, our Red Raiders played well enough to win tonight. We just uh, we just didn't get it done, Shane. Well, and Cairo, and not taking anything from them, they came out and played good fundamental football in the second half or this third quarter, I shouldn't say second half in this third quarter, and, and they did what they had to do to, to put the ball in the end zone and, and go up on points. Um, we had our opportunities. We didn't take advantage of them. We throw interception. That should have been a first down for us. We turn it over yes. there. They drive it down score. That's it. Those are kind of things as we keep saying all night. It's been part of the game. Um, and that's just uh, – that's what we get better. But that's why we play these scrimmage games. We're going to hopefully grow from this, learn from this. And uh, Lanier County comes in next Friday night, and I hope they run into a beehive here with us as far as uh, boys aggressive and ready to play football and uh, – um, change things over here in Bacon County and get a winning uh, record going this year. We're going to take a short break as our JV gets ready to come on the field. Uh, again, final. Uh, Varsity-wise. Yeah. And uh, we're going to get about six minutes on the clock, and uh, we'll go from there. We are going to take a short break here on the NFHS Network, powered by Play on Sports. All right, we are back, uh, and again, we don't have numbers on the 
That's a big, tall JV guy right there to split in. It looks like the guy that was catch, catching all the passes across the middle <laughs> earlier. Hey. And we got I mean, uh, our cornerback on this side. Um, yeah, good tackle right there. Yeah. Held on tight. About a five-yard gain. Yeah, I tell you what, this, um, the weight on the right side of this <laughs> defense right now is well under the <laughs> offensive side, I can tell you. Well, the We're camera doesn't lie. For strength and speed. They may be some bigger boys on this JV line. Oh, that great tackle, tackle right wow. there. Let's I wish I had a, some. Let's get a number on that. 32, 22. No. Bloodworth, that's uh, <coughs> Drake Bloodworth. Drake Bloodworth, <coughs> probably the smallest man on the team, but man, you, he made a super tackle right there. Tell you what, he can you know, he just can't wait. On that other side, uh, I mentioned earlier, Cody uh, Metters watching us from from Texas. Oh, another great tackle. And that might yeah. be. It's gonna be th well. That's it's fourth down now. Um, it sure is. Four forty-five, forty-four left here in this. Uh, JV fourth quarter, and I believe it is going to be it's Cody's brother on that uh, right defensive end there. You, he looks like Cody standing over there. Um, Again, we're struggling with just seeing the numbers now, especially. And we're going to stop him short. I don't know if we got him. Let him get over there or not. Nope, he's where if he spots the ball there, it's fourth down. Oh, they gave him the first down there. Look like where they originally spotted the ball, it would be short. So it would be uh, the referee is stopping the clock. It was supposed to be a running clock, but 419 left here. Well, I think that's only – Yeah, it's really it, only it, fair. It, it to, goes not, too quick I don't, don't think you – you know, then it, 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 it's potentially they could drive the ball down, and this and our JV team don't have a chance to go operate on, on offense. Um, and if they do it with the clock stopping a few times, and that's one thing. A little pass play here. Yeah, it's like the quarterback's going to run it. Oh, and got a hold. holding right here. And he keeps going. You've got to be kidding me. He never went down. He kept his feet. But, but I think it's coming back. He can go, jump for joy, but he's going to go backwards here because uh, he got to where he was because of a blatant hold back here about the – uh, 35, 40 yard line. Kid did though, put his head down and ran well. Yeah, these are all JV players. At least it is a no for the Red Raiders, and I feel sure for I'm the for JV, as well. Uh, they brought 115 uh, players and coaches here, so I'm sure they have enough for a uh, ninth grade team, a tenth grade team, and then a varsity if they wanted to. Because we don't have uh, numbers in. Uh, it's going to be first and 20. 4.06 remaining. A lot of the Raider faithful slowly wandering out. These JV boys work just as hard as these varsity boys do. Give them the time that they deserve. Yep, they're there at four, uh, 5.30 in the morning. This ball is going to be that young man overthrown. The ball. He sure did. I'm, I'm glad it was overthrown. He had a he did have a step on our young young man out there. He just threw that ball flat footed forty yards. Um, the uh, it's going to be second down and twenty three. Three minutes and fifty five seconds. Shout out to Lane Wade in the. Um, band boosters in that concession stand is outstanding. They send uh, burgers and stuff up to us at the press box at halftime, and they, I'm telling you, for a uh, going to help us feed the this team that's visiting as yeah, well. Yeah, they're doing that tonight. Um, the the Red Raider Booster Club uh, football are um, paying them to do that, and uh, letting them do a great job um, in that concession stand. I'm saying they send us up here at the press box, do a great job all the way around. That's a hard job in that concession stand. Pitches it wide. Good blocks by their receivers. He's going to catch that corner and pick up about 
20 yards. So 342-41 left here in the fourth quarter. It's going to be about third down and three or four. Okay, I'm not sure. I think they're just going to turn over the ball and let the offense, our offense, have a chance at it. Okay. That's what they're doing. Well, that's a good thing. Again, uh, I guess the coaches had that in mind, giving giving both teams a certain – maybe give them a certain amount of plays, Shane. Maybe give them ten plays. I'm not sure how many they ran. That was third down. I don't um, know. If, that, no, that, that would have been fourth down coming up. Maybe they're just saying they're punting the ball. That would have been – I think that was just third down. Either way, we get the ball back. Yep. Just like Dawson. Is that Jewel, that quarterback? Nope. No, that's not Dawson. That's not Dawson. And he's going to keep it and run it. Nope. Handed it off the sweep. Not sure what he threw the flag on this time. That flag must have poison ivy on it because they do not want it sticking on them much tonight. They have thrown that thing down over and over. Like whatever it is against the Raiders, and they're going to decline it. Legal procedure. Did he decline it or he's, he's walking it off, isn't he? No, he yeah. is walking it off. See if we can get a number on that quarterback. Band and cheerleader still working hard down there. Oh, he loses the snap, but he picks it up and takes off running, and he, <laughs> and he cuts back, gets back to the – well, he may have had a positive game. He picked game. up a few yards on that. Yeah, he, he ran about up. 30 yards and picked up two. That is Clinton on the carry uh, as, as at the quarterback helm. Two fifty forty nine forty eight left here in this final scrimmage quarter. And we Another do, one snapped in the ground. I think that's part of the play from what it looks like. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> have not heard that. They're saying they fumbled the ball and uh, they got it back. That's a poor snap is what that is. Uh, so 2.25, 2.24, clock still rolling. Third and 14. Finally get a snap off. Ooh, oh, interference. Pass interference there. Is, oh, he's not going to call it. Didn't but. throw the flag. Maybe he thought it was uh, <laughs> out of reach. Two oh one. Ball is well underthrown here on third down. Just a reminder, uh, folks, um, we will start back the uh, Red Raider Coaches Show this coming week. Um, catch up on what's going on the past uh, two weeks with the scrimmage and what we're looking forward to this season with Coach Kofer and the Red Raiders. The uh, um, upcoming game Friday night against Lanier County, which will be home in all games this from this point forward, will start at 7.30. Um, the scrimmage start at 7, but these will all be 7.30 starts. Homecoming this year is October the 30th. Um, senior night will be the next Friday night, I believe, after that. Yes. Um, As we will host MCA for senior night, down, hosting Groves for – host, host Groves for uh, homecoming. homecoming. Schedule coming up. It's Lanier County next week at home, 7.30. On September 4th, we will host Pierce County at home at 7.30, and then we will go on the road to Charlton County. Hadn't been there in some time and uh, quite a few years. Uh, so we'll travel to Charlton, and then we'll travel to Savannah, Georgia, to take on the defending state champion, Benedict Tinkadets. 
who is ranked number one coming into this season in double A. 142, 43, 41. Um, I think they're just going to let us run the ball out on offense here. Yeah, Vidalia comes this comes into the season ranked number four. Um, and Brooks County uh, came in at number 10, if I remember the top 10. So those are some opponents we've faced in the past and or will face uh, this season. Uh, Pierce County came in number 10 in th uh, 3A preseason poll. Uh, and uh, Charlton, I believe, is number six in single A. So we've got uh, four teams ranked state uh, in their respective – ranked in the state in their respective region and classification. And by day uh, – um uh, Bride kid down there uh, yeah, got big, an accident. Mm -hmm. I hate to see that. Anybody, it don't matter if you, it's your uh, um, opponent or not. You hate to see it. Um, yeah, he's a blue chip player too. Yeah, he's a good kid, and we hate to hear and, and, and see that he was in an automobile accident, broke his wrist. I think so. He's gonna be out for the rest of the year. <coughs> Final minute here and seven seconds left, and this will wind up the 2015 scrimmage. Portion season of the yeah. of the year or season, as uh, Brent said. Oh boy, run him out of bounds at about the fifty. And they continue to run the clock here. Fifty-five, fifty-four, fifty-three seconds left on the clock. Well, I guess they said he stepped out about the forty-four. Again, another little scat back they have in the JV. Raider faithful uh, heading for the exits here with the uh, last few plays. Here we he comes don't around give up anything here at the end for yeah. sure. Good play. Young man stays on his feet as he's bumped out of bounds. 22, 21 seconds left. Uh, Probably have time. Space, to Cato can maybe get one more play off, and this will wind us up. Eight, seven, six. I don't think they're going to get this one off unless they hurry up. They're probably going to just let them run this one. Nope. Well, oh, maybe he's so. Yeah, he's going to just let, let them run, run one more play. I'll tell you what, if we – I don't like it. <laughs> I, tell you, I don't like it. Not about them scoring. I don't want anybody to get hurt. I don't care if, who it is. Um, you got zero click seconds on the clock. Um, you got kids here trying to make a play. And that will wind us up, folks. Um, yeah, I think that will do it. Bacon County did a great job here of holding 4A Cairo to a uh, – I don't know. They bounced some players in and out like they're going to run another play. I, I'm not sure here. And the coaches are down there kind of raising their hands. Yeah, know. I guess they're going to let them run it. Maybe run, let them run a certain amount of plays here. So again, these JV players, a lot of them will not even see a lot of the field this year, so this is good for them. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, I – No time on the clock. No score. Oh, and he drops it. This, maybe this will end it. If we this is a bean bag, maybe we recovered, and maybe we that'll did, that'll boys. maybe that'll end the game. I guess they recovered. Yes. Not much to go on here to let you know how this is going to end. Yeah, I, we're still a little. Confused about the format. Nonetheless, we encourage you to uh, continue. I really appreciate. Uh, I love the opportunity to be on the air. Uh, don't necessarily do a great job at it, but I uh, love these kids and what they mean to us uh, here at Bacon County High School as student athletes. And notice I, I stress student because I am a teacher. Uh, but I love athletics and love sports and love to support these young men. And uh, let me mention our softball team uh, have started their season two and two in the region. Uh, struggled a bit uh, recently, but uh, these girls are once again a good problem. We're young, and got but got a lot of talent. Just need some experience. Uh, so stay tuned to to those games as we'll be airing more and more of them as the season progresses, along with Red Raider football. But I thank you guys that are uh, subscribing and watching. Um, our shows and our broadcasts of Red, of, of Red Raider Athletics.
Not no. sure. I think we're going to go through another series here. This will be our second time on offense, so this will probably, if they do let this go on, this will be it for us. Yeah, maybe that's what they agreed to is just two two series yeah. of a certain amount of plays, I guess. Uh, we're my uh, Nobody told our whole offense there. We, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got them all out there. Yeah, there we go. Was a big run there by the young Raider. But next week uh, we'll have uh, brother uh, Travis, Travis Peavy. Peavy and his son Matt Matthew on the horn. Uh, they will have some. They're hoping to have a sideline personnel to uh, to be able to broadcast with and for and um, for the radio uh, as well as our again our broadcast. Shane, I was thinking the other day, uh, this is our fifth year broadcasting with uh, NFHS. and um, It's changed a lot since we first started. It, it? has. Uh, the, uh, the quality of the production on their side as well as ours. Uh, High school football has, and sports in general has come a long way. I believe he was down before that turnover. Yeah, he's, that's what the referee is saying. Look at here, look at here. Cuts it outside. Oh, breaks a tackle. Oh, and he ran into a nice young man from yeah. Cairo, Georgia. <laughs> that outweighs him by about 40 pounds. <laughs> yeah. But uh, this is fun to watch. Get the, again, to give these young men an opportunity. Because like I said, they're up, they're up at 435 in the morning, getting to practice at 530. Practicing and then, you know, working out during the day in class. And yeah, let me reiterate, these kids get up um, – Around 4, 4.30, they start practice at 5 um, and practice till 7.20, 7.25. Um, and a lot of them go straight to the weight room. So it's a – football is a big part of their life right now. Uh, the way Coach Cofer does it here, they do get off in the afternoons um, if they need to work a job or other or things. Or go home and go to sleep. Go I think home a lot and go of to sleep, do. yeah. Uh, but stay out of this heat, the biggest thing. Uh, yeah. That, that's really been a big – Big benefit for us yeah, the last no, two years. No cramping. Haven't seen any cramping last week, this week. Atco did. I hadn't seen any cramping on uh, – because they're, they're ushering a lot of guys in and out. A yeah, lot they, more don't, than we they, are. they don't have a lot going two ways, so, and uh, uh, that makes a big difference. But last week, uh, Atco had a lot cramping. We didn't have any, so that that's – and uh, we saw that a lot last year, too. <coughs> We're just not losing as much fluid as these other – had a kid open there. Had a pass was slightly uh, low. This will probably wind us up here. And that is, that's it. Ball game. All right, young men are going to shake hands here. Cairo's got a long ride home tonight, Shane, so I hope we can feel their belly and they can sleep. Uh, again, shout out to the band boosters, uh, Mr. Shane Wade, uh, not Shane, that's his brother, Mr. Lane, Lane Wade. Uh, for providing that, helping to provide that meal for these uh, young men, for because they fed us last year and they didn't have to do that uh, chicken plate or something of that nature. Um, we traveled all the way over there, but um, again, a lot to look forward to this season uh, as we continue to, to progressively get better. And I think we did tonight, Shane. We got better. We made some mistakes. I think some mistakes that cost us the ball game. Um, but again, that's uh, that's part of it. Um, but. Uh, uh, again, I enjoyed being on the air with you tonight. Uh, they're, they're, we might uh, might surprise some folks and get back on the air at some point in time this year um, with a couple home games. We'll see. Um, uh, kind of uh, let the radio do their thing, and we may do ours and, and just go from there. But um, but anyway, any last thoughts real quick as we get off the air? Well, I just think the whole part of scrimmage is get uh, take steps and get um, better each week, and I think we have done that. Last week we come out looked kind of a flat, even though we did win the game. Offensive looked okay. Defense was a little flat. Um, tonight we come out and we we played a good football team and 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 produced. We didn't come out for them score wise, but I I think we have a lot to gain from what we did tonight here as far as offensively and more so on the defense. 
Um, we got uh, some work to do back there in that defensive secondary. Those drag rats were killing us tonight across the middle. Um, but other than that, I think uh, we've got a lot of positive to take away from this game and going into the Lanier County home game next week. Well, I'm going to give our coaches some credit because, again, our, our defense, although we gave up a couple scores, uh, we, we give them some short fields, again, some turnovers that kept our offense from um, from progressively going down the field. Uh, they made some, some adjustments this week, and, <clears throat> and and some kids got better. That's the bottom line, and that's all we can ask for. And uh, we look forward to next week getting a, uh, again, a clean slate. Uh, scrimmages don't count. None of this stuff does uh, except in our minds, and we take it with us, and I think it's a positive tonight. Um, and we're going to move forward. to We're going to host the Lanier County Bulldogs next week. We encourage you to come out, if, especially if you're local. Come out to this stadium. Let's, let's cheer on our Red Raiders. But if you can't come for whatever reason, we're sure glad to, to – for you to watch us on the NFHS Network, powered by Play on Sports. My name is uh, Brent Johnson, along with Shane Bennett. Uh, big crew here that work with me tonight. Uh, I hope that we'll work some kinks out with, with my camera crew. we got five or six kids that's really excited, and we had them all uh, uh, try their hand at it a little bit tonight, get them some experience. But I uh, want to especially thank uh, uh, Carter Griffin for running the system right here beside me. Um, and all those young men that was there uh, this evening. Look forward to seeing you guys next week. So, uh, for Shane and myself, uh, and uh, we just wish uh, Raider Nation the best, and we look forward to seeing you next week. And go Raiders, and God bless.